Today we're going to be looking at pivot tables. Now we need to just understand even when we're looking at the spreadsheet what a pivot table actually is. Now a pivot table what it does is it summarizes numerical data in a spreadsheet in a meaningful way and the summary can be done with functions like sum, average, max and min. These tables are a form of data processing. We are taking the raw data that we see over here and you can see um, it has been sorted according to, you know, salesperson, make, model, all these type of things. But we, we are going to take that and we are going, to, are going to process that into information. It also helps to arrange that data so that it can be quickly analyzed by people to help make better decisions. So with that said, let's go and insert uh, our very first pivot table. And for that, I'm going to go up to the insert tab. And you can see I've got my tables group over here. Now I can insert a table based on a table or range or from external data. I can pop in a recommended table and there you can see when I click on that they already give me a few options that I can use. I'm just going to click cancel and then I can also go and draw up my own pivot table. So I'm just going to go um, pivot table and from table range and I'm going to move this over to the side. Now do you see what happens? When I open that, it automatically selected this area. But please do make sure that if you get this in the exam, that you are highlighting or selecting the correct cell range. Okay. Um, then it's saying by default, choose where you want this pivot table to be placed. And I'm going to place it into a new worksheet and I'm going to click OK. Now I'm in the new worksheet. It looks like nothing's there, but have a look at the side here on the right. I've got my pivot table fields. Remember, those are the fields that I selected. And I can now choose what I want. And you can see that I can drag them between the field areas below. So if I, for example, click on salesperson, you see it goes into rows. And then I'm going to choose, let's go with make. And do you see that it's going underneath that? Now, if I take that and I move that over to columns, do you see how that changes? Okay, so I'm going to take that out and I'm rather going to pop in month because the whole idea behind this is we want to see um, what the salespeople have been doing each and every month. And I'm going to move that over into columns. And there you can see my row labels for those salespeople. There's the columns for January, February and March and the grand total. And then I'm also going to go and I'm going to insert price. And do you see what happens with price? Price goes over to values. And I can decide what I actually want with this. If I click on that little down arrow and go to value field settings, I can go and choose what I want it to do. Sum, count, average, whatever the case may be. Just going to click cancel. And guys, that is how I've created my pivot table. 